And underway, Sullivan flew early. No effective tap, but he followed up nicely. Proust probably held him a little bit too long. Umpire said play on. As the ball's hacked forward, it's a bit of aerial ping pong to get underway. Weedering laid it off. Here's a chance now for O'Kearney, who delivers up forward for the NAB AFL Academy, and they're full of running. Straight out at the 17th side, they'll, they'll really beat them, I think, on the spread with their pace and athletic ability. Uh, and we saw that in the first uh, couple of passages of play. Their speed on the outside was well, pretty impressive. Eads and then Weller couldn't gather. Ball out of play. Well, that's what you're probably looking at, isn't it? Top-end abilities probably with the... He's got his opportunity to shine on the greatest stage of all, the MCG on grand final day. Chance for the Allies. They push forward. Kick inside 50, not great. Hamelman couldn't mark, nor could Coughlin, although he did well below his knees. Chance over the top there by Steele did really well. And Hamelman just stuck his big mitts up and clunked the mark. Haters of this concept to give the boys the chance to play, expand the game. Well, Hodgson worked through traffic, did really well to create. Chance for the big man, Pruce, sets it up long towards the tip of the goal square. Going back there was Hamelman. No mark taken, ball off hands, but they're looking potent, Terry. Yeah, they are. And look, it was a beautiful mark. Down Parsons. Now look out. It was Keyes who kicked short. No mark taken inside forward 50 by Wiedemann. And good pressure in the end results in Abe Davis coming clear for the Allies. A nicely weighted kick too. Found the chest of Coughlin, who's been lively early. Been very good. He's uh, really off. For Donald delivers forward. Kick wasn't bad, but filling the hole, the big man, Pruce. And he's a fair lump of, the, lump of a lad too, Kev. A fair lump at 205, so uh, he's a giant at 100 and, uh, over 100 kilos already. Uh, an amazing sized boy. And he's, uh, he's a rugby boy from Townsville. He only had two or three years in the game. Uh, so Looked like someone that could be ready made to come in. Dawson got his hands free. Heaney lost his footing. But in numbers, they prevail. His lop. Works his way into space, finds the footy to McGuinness. Now, a chance for Steele. Centre circles, delivers forward. Once again, Coughlin could perhaps be on the end of this, although he, which is quite remarkable given that we're playing 20-minute quarters. Uh, 24 minutes of footy, he's had 17 disposals. Well, got it again. Almost was clobbered. Here goes Weller. Highly rated youngster from Queensland. Up and under ball. Three on one in the end. Proust managed to neutralise it well. Ball spills free. Hodgson sees an option inside 50. Kick was ripped. Lap of Kerno bounced off his chest. He was a little bit surprised that it found its way there. The ball to be tossed back in. AFL Academy into attack. Chance to keep peppering the goals. Although on this occasion, ball locked up. Good contest at the moment. There's not much between the two sides. Uh, the efficiency... 21, 11 and a half into this second term. We're playing 20-minute quarters if you've just joined us. So, ball kicked in the Sullivan direction. Had the height advantage. Well done over the top by Weller to bring it to ground. Here's a chance to cock it too. He was just about to capitate it. Came inboard. His handball too slick there for Hodgson. Who, as it comes out towards his broadcast side, Keys marks. He's a lively player. Looked really bright in the national championships. A fantastic goal that many remember. Went the check side. We'll talk more about that later because Weller just showing a glimpse of brilliance. He's kicked slightly wobbly on this occasion. Crocker did well to defend for the academy. Ball out the back now. He got the kick forward. Out of side. McDonald in time. With ability uh, in this first uh, couple of quarters. And now full of running. Partington pushed as he got rid of it. Heaney met it cleanly. At half back. Weller laid off the hands. The running man there was Dawson, who delivered up forward. Chance for Davis if he can get a grip on the footy. Eventually does. Good tackle there. Through in their 19th, 20th, 21st year to, to play Northeast AFL footy and uh, give themselves an AFL opportunity from that spot. And he's well up. Worked his way into the game well. Tumbles it up towards left half forward. Wiedering did well against Davis. Risky handball. Francis made it look good. In the end, they get out of jail. O'Kearney once again. Hands for McDonald. His kick not great. I thought Keller Mills was very good in all that work. Shifter. Well, he's going to be a fantastic player, Callum Mills. Uh, one of the joint captains today. Another boy that 
made all Australian as a bottom ager. Some of his form in the North East AFL with the Sydney Swans reserves was outstanding this year. He averaged 30 possessions at that level of footy. And he sits and up. Keys has to stand tall. Good pressure applied by foot. Won it back for the Allies. Chance for the running steal. Over the top now. Weller will fancy his chances from 45. Oh, yeah. Pulls the trigger and goals. Perhaps a taste of things to come over the next 10 years for this young man, Lockie Weller. And we... Only seen glimpses, perhaps, but that's all you need to see, gentlemen. Selected. If you could just shed some light on the that process. Yeah, so we have, it's now known as the NAB AFL Academy. They pick two squads a year. 25 players picked out of the AFL Under-16 Championships and 35 players picked in their 17th year. They may well have played National 18s as bottom ages, or they might have been playing in state leagues around Australia. Me boys would have a chance to score. Black's marking means Jones worked forward. Runs onto the end of it. That not his best kick. Nice trap there by Hamelman. Off now to his lop towards the hot spot and Wietering, the saving mark. Talk about good third quarter. Wietering's had exactly that. Saved them on many occasions. Boy from the Dandenong Stingrays. Very short illness and, and Hayden, a teenager himself, uh, uh, well, gee, life is just far too short for he. And he just, uh, Hayden insisted that Aaron come across and play and, and represent the family. So I heartfelt condolences to the entire family and, and to the West Adelaide Football Club. Uh, uh, on Encouraging for him heading into the draft. Well, uh, you talk about giving uh, an award for best on the ground. He'll be right up there. Yeah, and Nico Kearney was good, obviously, in the first half. Outstanding. Caleb Pislop's come home in the second half. I think he's up to 22 disposals. But Nico Kearney, cockatoo, uh, his lot be fighting it out, I would have thought, Terry. Would have thought so. Watts received it from Mattingly. In fact, Uber Gang it was. Unlike Steele's game as well, uh, across the wing, I thought he's done some good work as well. He's had such a good season, hasn't he? He's been able to get past that knee injury that he had last year, really put himself into contention for the Giants' academy selection. It's expected to be a top 40 sort of pick if someone bids. And Davis far too strong there. Marked the kick that came from Weller. Kicked wide inside, 50. Off to Hana in a world of strife, was stripped of it. And now on the counter, the Allies a chance to just about put this game to bed. They should do it. Weller streaming into an open goal. Excitement machine, he does. And that'll be just about all she wrote here for this game of footy, you'd think. And Lockie Weller on two occasions in the past half an hour or so, really... Running and carrying, so they've been able to play the inside and the outside game, the Allies boys. Andrews did well. His cockatoo got his hands free. Balik managed to shark. His handball was a hospital one to O'Kearney. And the ball locked in. I think it's obvious as well that the uh, academy's missing a couple of their top liners too. So Darcy Parrish, yeah. Darcy Tucker. If it should have been closer anyway. Yep. Eh? They've just missed opportunities uh, as well with their scoring. Davis Here tried to get the quick kick away. Well, I thought about putting on the afterburners. Elected instead to kick to a one-on-one -on -one inside forward 50. Howard's been busy. He's kicked three so far today. This one spins around the corner. Wasn't all that far away. But and in the end, Jackson for the Allies just chisels one in towards the corridor. Andrews Mark laid it off to Hislop, who's been busy. Now a chance for Weller. He marked. He wants to go all the way. He's got a penetrating kick. He got the journey, no worries. Almost. Just the accuracy. His eyes lit up, though, didn't they? Yeah, so a little bit of space and wanted to go with it. But obviously missed that one. His kicking is a real asset. I think he has some pen penetration and some skill. Draft preview stuff. You'll hear some stories of diamonds in the rough. And Cal, you'll join that particular program in the second week. As well, I found his way through a tight passage, as the very best managed to do. He kicked out to steal. Southern side wing. Licked it to handball over the top. Jones one way, then another. His kick not great. Down the throat of Hodgson. Steele's kept running all day. He loops it wider. They move inside 50, Weller towards goal, hits the woodwork. So the academy boys just running out of a bit of puff as we see their coach Brad Johnson just having a think about proceedings. Charlie.